Spring, Rouen, May 1917 by Ivor Gurney I am dumb, I am dumb And here's a Norman orchard And here's spring Goading the sullen words that will not come Romance beating his distant magical drum Calls to a soldier bearing alien arms Throw off your yoke and hear my darling sing Blackbirds by Red Roofed Farms More drunk than any poet with May's delight Green alive to the eye and pink and white Joy's there, but not for me And song, but shall I sing That live as in a dream of some bad night Whose memories are of such ecstasy and height of passionate joy, that pain alone is born of beauty in cloud and flower and tree. Yes, and the great cathedral's towering stone. To me, these are but shadows of orchards and old meadows, trodden before the dawn, trodden after the dusk. All loveliness of France is as a husk the inner living spirit of beauty gone, to that familiar beauty now withdrawn from exiles hungering ever for the light of her day face, England's. Or in some orchard space, breathless to drink peace from her calm night, how shall I sing since she sings not to me songs any more? High rule she holds forever on the sea, that's hers, but dreams too might guard the shore of France, that's French and set apart for ever, a spirit of love our link of song does sever. Had it been hate, the weakest of all sworn enemies of love, we should have broken through or passed above its foolish barriers. Here we must bow as to established fate, and reverently form comrades and high peers, sisters in blood. Our mothers brook no rival in their state of motherhood. But not forever shall our travail last, and not forever we, held by iron duty over sea, the image of evil shall be overcast. And all his willing slaves and priests of evil, scattered like dust, shall lie upon the plain, that image, ground to dust, utterly level, with unregarded weeds, and all as vain. The oppressed shall lift their hearts up once again, and we return, not to scarred lands and homes laid in the dust, not with hard hearts to sights that sear and burn, but with assured longing and certain trust to England's royal grace and dignity. To England's changing skies, rich greenery, high strength controlled, queenly serenity, inviolate, kept by her confederate sea, and hearts resolved to every sacrifice, we shall come home. We shall come home again, living and dead, one huge victorious host. The dead that would not leave their comrades till the last steep were topped off the difficult hill the last farthing paid of the great cost, the last thrill suffered of the great pain, living and dead, we shall come home at last to her sweet breast, England's. By one touch be paid in full for all things grey and long and terrible of that dread night which seemed eternity. O oh, mother, shall thy kisses not restore body and life-sick soul? Yes, and set free songs and great floods of lovelier melody than thou didst give. When we those days of half-awake did live, and joy must surely flower again more fair. To us who dwelt in shadows and foul air will breathe and drink in song. Spring shall blot out all traces of old care, her clouds of green and waves of gold among we shall grow free of heart and great and young. 
Spring shall blot out all traces of old care. Her clouds of green and waves of gold among, we shall grow free of heart and great and young, be made anew in that great resurrection. Perfect as is the violet's perfection, perfect as she who sanctifies our memory with sorrow, hugs as a mother hugs the thought that harrow, watching for dawn, hungering for the marrow, lone over sea. I am dumb now, dumb. But in that time what music shall not come, mother of beauty, mistress of the sea.